everybody. In today's video, I am going to be sharing something that I just got in the mail. This is the Faux Memo printer and I was asked on Instagram if I wouldn't mind doing an unboxing video and I said sure I would love to. I have seen a couple of my friends online playing with them recently and thought it would be fun to go ahead and give it a try. So I've got my journal here to kind of play with the things that this thing does. So I'm just going to set this aside so we can do a proper unboxing. So I've got the printer here and then I've got some paper here. And I'm just going to open it up for you. It was packaged very well. It comes in a really hard box. And there's this cute little card inside with some um, social media information. And then... It comes with the user manual and it gives you pretty simple and clear directions on how to use the machine. You've got the machine right here, also wrapped in plastic. It's a cute little machine. And then you have the charging cord. So, um, the charging cord is just a USB and then this mini USB, I think, and um, it just plugs in right here and then you can just plug it in um, into any adapter or USB plug to charge it. I have already charged it. Um, I actually used my laptop to charge it because I was kind of playing around with my laptop and figured while I was there working. I would charge it so I did go ahead and charge it already um, and I actually chose the white printer it does come in a couple of different colors I think there's an aqua a pink a black um, and a piano print I believe which I thought was really cute I chose white because it was simple and clean and basic and all right so I'm going to load this printer um, with the paper that they sent me. This I believe is just regular white paper, but they do have um, a color paper, sticker paper, a sticky note paper, which is not sticky, the whole back is not. And then you've got, um, there's a clear sticker and plain paper. I believe this is just the plain white. So I'm going to open it up, grab one of the rolls, and um, I did notice on the back of the paper box that this is um, what they would call the white adhesive thermal paper and it is only good for two years. So I only have one complaint like right off the bat about this is that the paper, um, the printing on the paper does not last very long. This particular one, once you print on this paper, the image only lasts for two years. And their other options um, are a uh, up to five years, up to seven or 10. Um, most of them though, I'm, I'm seeing online, all of them say up to two years. I don't really love that um, because if I'm gonna put this in my journal that I want to have forever, and I go back and look at it and I see this giant white sticker in the middle of the page for absolutely no reason and I have no idea what was there. Like if I put a picture there, I, I, the picture's gone. Um, that would be super disappointing to me. So right off the bat, I found that pretty frustrating. Um, but I will just have to keep that in mind when I use this particular printer, knowing that the images that I print uh, aren't going to last forever. So um, it's, I think it's a cute idea um, to have like a little thermal printer like this, but I found it pretty frustrating. Um, so that unwound, I hope that's not a problem. So I'm just gonna open it up. Oh, look at that, it already comes with one. So it does have one in here, so um, right here. I'm just going to take this sticker off and I don't even know what kind of paper is in here. I'm assuming it's the same paper that I have. I'm just going to take this off and 
Come on. Put it back in. I'm going to assume that it has to be paper side up. I don't actually know what this says, so I'm just assuming. So I'm just pulling it until I get to that sticker. And it has a little cutter right here. I just want to make sure that the paper... Yeah, I think I did it right. So... Yeah. All right. I'm going to turn the printer on and it's going to have a green light. I hope that you guys can see that. Green light. And there is instructions in here that say um, what the lights are for. So green steady is that the charging is completed. Flashing green is that it is currently charging. Steady red is out of paper or overheating. Flashing red, low battery. So I've got a steady green light and I'm ready to go. Okay, next thing you are going to need is your phone. You're going to need to download the app right here. And in the app, there's going to be the option to um, use a bunch of their images. So they have a bunch of different images on here and I'm just going to select a few and um, print them off. So this one is super cute. So I'm going to hit the print button. I'm going to select this one because I have um, connected to the printer already. I will show you how to do that in just a second. I want it to be thick because I want it to be bold. So I'll show you what that means. I'm going to hit print. And there it is. So I'm going to reprint it again in the medium so you guys can see the difference. Oh, I actually don't see a difference at all. Well, I guess I do. Um, I believe it's supposed to be for how dark the images are. Of course, there's like a light beam. <laughs> right where I'm trying to show. All right, so let me show you how to connect. So you need to have your Bluetooth on and go into your settings, Bluetooth, and then you're gonna connect to, um, I've got a speaker, my car, and then you've got the Mr. In MO2. You're gonna connect to it. It's already connected for me, but it will pop up automatically. Um, when you try to connect to this and see it will already connect you to it it will give you the option to do MO2 or MO2S I just collect the MO2 because that's what my model says it says it's the MO2 it doesn't say S so that is the device that I chose and then it automatically asked to go ahead and connect to that device once I selected that. So the connection is super easy. If you know how to connect to any type of Bluetooth um, uh, thing, <laughs> it's gonna be super easy for you to connect to this. So I want to print from my... All right, I'm going to speed things up a little bit and sort of use a voiceover to finish the rest of this video, but um, I feel like I've explained everything pretty well. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways you could use the printer right there. I have just printed a picture of my little girl that was straight off of my phone, and um, I think that is a really fun option. I um, also use the scan option where I just take a picture of something and, and print it right off. This I think was my favorite option. Um, being able to take a picture of this ticket and then print it off and then color it in later, I just really thought that that was really cool. 
you can see here I am resizing it because I don't want I don't want it to be too big or too long and I just needed a little bit of the space but I think it's really cool that the texture it brought out of the background on my table I thought that was really interesting I went back over to the templates because I do want to print off a few more things. I'm playing with the options there of how dark or bold the printing is. I personally did not notice a huge difference. There are so many different things you can print off. They have so many preloaded things on this app and I think it's going to be great for fussy cutting. So I printed off a bunch of different things that I felt like I could color and then fussy cut to create kind of a collage. They have this really cool option with calendars and then this daily like tearaway calendar looking thing. So I do print off one of those as well. I think that's really, really, really fun. And um, so if you're into uh, using a little date sticker for your journal for every day, this is a really, really fun option. I wish I had made mine a little bit smaller, but I left it full size and in the end I did regret it being so big. I do cut it down a little bit just because it was so big and taking up so much space, but um, next time I'll do better. <laughs> I do pull out my Tombow markers and I do color them in a little bit for a couple of different reasons. The main reason being that if I want to put this in my journal, in a couple of years when the ink, the black ink wears away, it's going to look a little bit silly. So in my mind, I thought maybe if I add some color to the, uh, the picture, if it ever wears away, I could kind of see maybe what was meant to be there and it won't look quite as empty or silly. I don't know why I'm so worried about that. I don't even know how tested that theory is if the ink does eventually wear away. Um, but I was just thinking about it quite often when I was creating with this and I don't know, it just really was getting to me. So I felt like if I added a little bit of color, um, if that day ever came that I ever actually do go back and look in my journals and this sticker was in there and there, it, I tried to take care of the situation best I could, basically. Um, it made me feel better. I had a lot of fun coloring. I did not have to worry about the ink smearing. The Tombow markers did dry really quickly, so I didn't have to worry about any smearing. And it was just fun to kind of get creative. I don't pull those markers out nearly enough, and actually just pulling them out and coloring with them was great. I also love the option for these tiny little icons right here, these little um, little collage bits, I guess. It's going to be really fun to fussy cut all of those out and add these tiny cute little elements to my letters and to my envelopes. I'm just really looking forward to that. I think it's going to be a great option to add a little something something to some happy mail. Um, being able to print off some images and include those in my letters to gift to my pen pals is going to be another great option, another great way to um, add something to my letters to gift. I really like the option for that as well. And um, I love the thought of being able to print off a little note and stick it to my son's backpack so that he can find it or his lunch bag so he can find it during lunch or maybe a note to his teacher I can stick on the sleeve of his jacket to give to his teacher in the morning if I need her to be aware of something and I don't have time to maybe sit down and write a long email or just a you know what I mean just a great way to have a little sticky note to send to school um, for your kids or for your teacher um, I just I think that's just gonna be really fun there is an option in there to write a little note I did not play with that option just because I didn't want the video to be too long it's already pretty long as it stands and um, I feel like if this is something that you're really interested in it would not be that hard at all to be able to figure out a lot of the other options that are available with this nifty little printer so like I said I have seen this online quite a bit I have a girlfriend who actually purchased one um, last month and I got to play with hers when we went to go uh, have a journal meetup and I thought it was really fun. She had the clear sticker paper and the effect of that was really cool. Um, I think I do show a close up of that little picture um, closer to the end of this video. Um, 
And yeah, I just think that this is really, really fun. It's a really cute option. I know a lot of these little tiny printers have gotten really popular recently. Um, I would really like to acquire a photo printer, like a photo, like a proper photo printer. There's a bunch on the market right now. Uh, I think I have seen a couple of my friends using like this teeny tiny little picture printer and I'm, I'm really interested in getting one of those as well so I can add tiny little pictures to my journal as well but this I, I think is a great starting point to even see if that's something that I uh, would use if I would take the time to even make that an option and I really wish gosh looking back at this now oh I really wish I would have cut this this uh, little tearaway calendar thing a little bit. The adhesive is super strong, I'm here to tell you. Um, I cannot pull that thing up. So another thing I did notice is um, I cannot tear this paper when it's attached to the backing. So I took the backing off and just tore it as it is because you guys know me and my torn edges. I love the torn edges. Uh, and I can't tear the paper when it's attached to its sticky back and then obviously once you fussy cut it you're gonna see me struggle <laughs> it takes forever to get it to pull off because there's no little flap or lip for it to uh, easily tear I struggle so bad <laughs> trying to get these to come apart but in the end it's worth it and I think it's fun I love the option that there's adhesive already on the back of this paper just because if you've been following me for any amount of time, adhesive has always been the death of me. I cannot seem to keep adhesive that I like in my office. I'm always running out of the glue tape runners. I'm always running out of the double-sided sticky tape. The glue sticks are just a pain in my butt. The Prima Planner glue pens went out of... Um, like they're not making them anymore, they discontinued them. So adhesive is an issue. And the fact that these already have like sticky on the back of them, I'm all about that life. <laughs> so I'm just quickly scrolling through a lot of the other options. I was looking for like a foliage um, type of picture to sort of fill this empty dead space. And I do find this one, I printed off really quickly and I loved that option knowing that I needed to fill an empty dead space on this paper to make it feel more complete. And the fact that it only took me six seconds to reprint something out, color it, fussy cut it, and put it on, and I kept going, I loved that. I didn't have to search through my pile. I didn't have to search through my bin. I didn't have to go and do anything. It took me six seconds to do that, print it, color it, and then it's there. I loved that. I think the convenience of this little printer is just out of bounds. <laughs> so I went ahead and colored that ticket in and I love the way that looks. It actually almost matches the original ticket color almost perfectly and looks like it was meant to be there. It looked like I just stuck that ticket right down on that paper and I really love that. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with that scan and print option of just being able to take a picture of something that I have and being able to duplicate it, replicate it, and stick it down. I think that's great. So I do stick this down and then I'm pretty sure I'm done with it. I do want to say I want to play with this a little bit more. Uh, I, this was the first time I had played with it uh, because I wanted the unboxing to be authentic and real and I wanted it to be... Um, oh, here I am showing you that clear uh, picture, the clear paper picture. It's really cool. <laughs> I thought it came out really cool. And the clear clear paper is fun because you can layer it on top of things and see the things that are behind it. So, yeah. Like I said, I do want to play with this a little bit more. I um, I think it's a great idea. I think it could be a great, great tool to have in your office. Uh, here I am just playing. There's the option to, like, write a long note and print it out. And, um... Yeah, I just think it's tons of fun. I They do update it pretty regularly. When I first got the um, machine, the Valentine's Day stuff wasn't on the app. And then when I sat down to record it, I think it was like two days later or three days later, they had all the Valentine's Day stuff up on the app. So they do update them, uh, the app regularly, and I think that's great. So that is going to be it for me. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this very long 
very ranty <laughs> unboxing and tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I will leave all the information that you need to find your very own printer like this. Like I said, there are lots of color options for the printer, so if white is not your thing, you can ha uh, choose from a variety of different colors, including paper options. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Please feel free to subscribe if you are not already. Leave any questions that you might have down below, and I will catch you guys later. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye!